Hello, my name is Sean Barrett, producer of Bot Art International, the Masters of Contemporary Barrel Art. And I'm here today at the Gorilla Atelier in downtown Arts District with Karen Beistet, a photographer and artist who has lent her DNA to this year's collection. Karen, a photographer of the and Lost Warhols, which began as a series of photographs of Andy Warhol during her student days at NYU in 1982, only to be rediscovered in 2011. So we're very pleased to have her as part of the Bot Art Collection and bringing photography to street art. Please tell us a little bit about the Lost Warhols project. The Lost Warhol project is, uh, are basically photographs that I took of Andy Warhol in the early 80s and that I subsequently lost for 28 years. I met Andy because I had um, come up with an idea to photograph male models after working as an apprentice at a huge fashion photographer studio. And so I called Interview Magazine to try to figure out who to, to talk to to get in touch with him. And Andy himself answered the phone. And he said, well, who else do you have? And I said, well, I've got Marcus Abel and Rick Edwards and Jeff Aquilon. These are basically the top male models of the time. And so he was impressed with my list. And so he said, OK like that. We were going along with the shoot and all of a sudden he had that little American flag on the table and then just very matter of fact like he picked it up. <laughs> Amazing. And I snapped. Wow. And then someone walked in the room right afterwards so then I have another shot of him where he's looking away like this and it almost he almost looks human because someone came in to talk to him. A new movement that you're starting now is Photography with mixed media, yes. right? I mean, that is a new frontier in quite a, a big way. My idea was to have an artist paint on top of my photograph, and I first did it at Art Basel um, in 2011 with Peter Tunney. Um, so he actually did a live installation where he silk screened on top of my Andes, on the ground. And then I proceeded to come back to LA and um, do some murals. Really what happened was a lot of street artists, they love Andy Warhol, they, they're influenced by Andy Warhol. One of my visions was to work with a hip hop R&B artist. And um, a guy I was working with, Orlando, asked me if I was interested in collaborating with Chris Brown. And I was like, yes, definitely, because I've actually been listening to Chris Brown since he was 15. I did the show, and Chris uh, painted on one of my photographs, and um, 500 people showed up. It was one of the most amazing art shows I've been to. They were excited, they were thrilled about the work, they were thrilled about the collaborations. And then I noticed that I started to gain all these followers, young followers who probably didn't even know who Andy Warhol was. And they started following me, and as a consequence, they started following all of my art postings. So through Andy Warhol and through the mixed media, they're now getting into art in general. So it's just a beautiful thing, really. I really enjoyed working on this barrel. Um, you know, I wanted to include the silver because silver yeah. was Andy Warhol's favorite color. Right. And it was the back of uh, mirrors. Mm -hmm. And so when you go to the Warhol Museum, they have a whole room of floating silver balloons. And I wanted to work with the repeat because Andy was all about repeat in his art. Well, just say thank you very much, Karen. It's really a pleasure to have you. Oh, and welcome I'm, to Bot Art International. I'm so happy to be part of it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me.